lady. That's the intro because honestly, what am I supposed to say? We're sitting down for act two and it's a country album. Huh? Now listen, I'm not the biggest country lover and I'll admit it, but I think what it is is I just don't like what the genre has become. Because when I think of old country songs, I think of old country artists. It's very storytelling, there's a lot of soul in it. And if we're here to revive that, I'm down. But anyway, going into the album, um, first off, I am not used to these <gasps> long albums no more. An hour and 20 minutes? Guess I'm not doing anything else today. Not that I would want to. I know she released two songs already. I think Texas Hold'em, which I have not heard. I've heard just the little bit of, this ain't Texas. Woo! Where is it? Oh, it's all the way up here, 16 carriages, which I've heard is sad. So I'm going into this blind. I'm going into this optimistic. I am ready to yee when she haws. Nothing really is. Hello. Ooh, come on, Harmony. Ooh, she's smooth as butter, bitch. Why is she yelling at me? Yeah. Who the f pissed her off? Actually, I know. I know like this was born after her, was it her country music awards performance? I'm so confused because there's like CMA and CMT, but apparently they're not exclusive. I don't really know. I'm not in their business like that. Listen, I know when Beyonce gets pissed the f off, that's when her best music comes. So no, actually like it's so f up that they made her feel that way, especially considering the history of the genre. That's the hill you want to die on. Okay, couldn't be me, but okay. Amen. See, she's bringing that soul back. Ooh. Is it gonna be like Renaissance where it just switches up whenever it wants to? Because I don't have the heart for that. I say, do you hear me? I hear you, I hear you. But let me make myself clear. Damn, piss the f off. I know I keep saying that, but damn. Not the peace and love! Quite ironic considering there's not gonna be any peace or love in this project, I can already tell. Why am I gonna cry? Like those notes? Who was that? I know that was our Lord and Savior Beyonce, but like who was that? Who was that? Actually, who was that? There's a lot of talking going on. And there was, cause wasn't this all like about daddy lessons or whatever? Like she's not country enough, but then it's like she's too down south. Like she's too proud of it. The f are you talking about? I'm like, I'm ready to fight. What an amazing intro. The energy is insane in this track. Alabama, got hope down, got us here rooted in Louisiana. Woo! The number two contains that I wasn't country enough. Hide your face. You should be embarrassed. I mean, all the publications who were on her ass about that, which like was so weird. Why did they care that much that they had to go out of their way to say all, like, Right? And I know, listen, I'm gonna sound like I'm up her ass, but she knows what she's doing. Like, artists of our generation, what do you want me to do? Like, I have ears, I have eyes, I understand what's going on. How come you don't? Ooh. Just saying. They don't, don't know how hard I had to fight for this. Wow. So it is going to change up in this project. That's crazy. Nasty. Nasty. Okay, before I pause it, I'm gonna hear it. Does it go into the next one? Oh girl, I got chills. Mm, so much soul. It is. And it is a cover! So I've I have not been like on the internet really because I've been trying to avoid any kind of spoilers because I knew this was coming. I really, really wanted to go in this project and just absorb everything like a sponge. I did see the track list and when I saw Blackbird, I was like, Little Miss Blackbird? The one that's singing in the dead of night? The one that took its broken wings and learned how to fly? That one? 
Because who's the one that's alive? Paul McCartney? Isn't it true where he's only cleared a cover for Glee and now Beyonce? Like legends only. As far as going into Blackbird though, I see that there are a lot more people on this track. And which, is it Tanner that I recognize? Or Tiara, it's one of the T's. Isn't it like an upcoming black country artist? If that is who I'm thinking of, that is really cool. To not only be taking back the narrative and the genre for yourself and to kind of like prove you're more than what people are saying, but to also pave that way for other people. Oh, it's so weird to hear her sing this. I love it. And learn to fly for this moment to arise. You're only waiting for this moment to arise. I love the use of harmony. Leopard. Are they all doing the harmony? If you can't pop your ass to this song, you're doing it wrong. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. I don't know this person's voice, but it's beautiful. You Oh, it gives me chills. And to end on that line, having pause. Okay. Like respectfully, respectfully. Cause if I have to go through this bullshit, like I did with Renaissance for every song, 911, what's your emergency? Hi, yes, I just listened to the new Beyonce album. Understood, ma'am. Help is on the way. But no, to end it on that note, like you were only waiting for this moment to arise and to have upcoming artists on it, I just think is so special. I've never felt that energy with Beyonce of like, I am the top, I am this person, no one can touch me. Like I've never felt that she didn't support other people in the industry, especially women, especially black women. I just think that's really special and that's really cool. We are gonna go into 16 carriages. I know pretty much everyone has heard this except me. I'm excited. I hope I don't cry. Driving away while I watch them ride. Oh, dreams away. When sunset on all these runs, what the f problems had to leave behind. Oh. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my oh. bed on the back of the bus. I'm done. My cook clean, but still won't fall. Still, <laughs> I love that. I still won't fold. <laughs> I love that. That's a bar, bitch. I still won't fold. Like that could be, I still won't do laundry and stuff, but also I still won't fold. Like I'm not gonna succumb to under the pressure. That's a bar. That's a fucking bar. Honestly, rappers should be happy that Beyonce doesn't like go play with that genre for an album because she, she would end everybody. She really would. And then the harmonies. You fucking bitch. Respectfully, respectfully. Whoa. The reflection and how it still showcases her grind and how much she has worked. Beyonce's longevity in this industry needs to be studied. But at the same time it doesn't because she has had such a long lasting career because she can do shit like this. She can do shit like Renaissance and it still sounds good. Like she's almost a chameleon. She can go into any genre, any sound that she wants and she's gonna sound good. She's just so good at her craft. It's actually kind of scary to reflect back and see like how different her life is, but still fighting that fight of almost proving herself. No wonder she's so pissed. I'd be pissed, I am pissed. It's not even me. These runs. Bitch. Her life's If it's the last thing I do, you'll remember me. Cause we got something to prove. And then to go back to the strip back to guitar. Wow. I have chills. Dreams away. So this is for her children. Oh, f off. That's gonna make me cry. I will be your projector. Mm. I feel proud of who I am because you need me. 
Listen, I'm not, I'm not a mother. I mean, that's my whole brand, but I'm not like, I am a mother. Where is my son? He does not want to be in here anymore when I film because he sees the shenanigans that happens and is like, I'm good. Let me know when you clock out. But I feel like that's almost one of the greatest parts of becoming a mother is being that person in someone's life. And it's so crazy to me because I don't know if she realizes it, but she is that kind of person for so many people who aren't related to her. Like she is, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> She's such a bright light, such an inspiration, such a face of hope and determination. Forge such a path for people that in a way she is a protector for other people, like not just her children. Shine on your own. I will be your projector. I love that I'll be your projector. I'll show what you can be. The sound of kids playing. I love it. Wow. Is it gonna flow? How okay, no. many times have you let yourself? She's like, no, it's not gonna flow, but I'm still gonna f you up with these harmonies. Like, okay, queen. This is the country I can get down with. I mean, is it still my favorite? No, but I can at least listen to it. Cause some of the country that comes out now, it's like, oh, my honka tonka truck and I drink beer and I have my guns. And it's like, why? What are you saying? Right? Like who the f cares? Would you look at that? My right is here. Oh, this is like an interlude. Find Okay, gorgeous. No words tonight at 10. But that's gonna go into the next one with Willie Nelson. And it's also short. That's where I'm going to Is this her switching a radio? Why can't you be true? <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Welcome to the Smoke Hour on KNTRY Radio Texas. Is that supposed to be country? Go find yourself a jukebox. Thank you. <laughs> you. And then that goes into Texas Hold'em! That was crazy! So cool to go through like monumental, well I think monumental songs in country. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming because I don't know. But to like be switching the radio, going through all of these idols, all these people who have made this kind of music, to then be like, okay, here's the next one, sit back, and it goes into this one. That is crazy. That's awesome. This ain't Texas. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> no, round, round. Stick around. And I'll be damned if I go. So pop your lenses. Woo! And throw your live hold down. Don't be a bitch. Come take it to the floor. I love that. Don't be a bitch. Beyonce, stop. Stick around, round, 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 round. Woo! This is so fun so far. I'm having a great time. Oh. How sweet of her. She knew that we loved Julia. So she said, here you go, boo. Here's your own song. Very good. She's such a giver. Oh my God. Oh my God. Julia! <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah! I give you kisses in the backseat. Oh, this is not about Julius. I mean, I would do that with Julius. Beyonce, mind your business. Anyway. Hell and whiskey when you kiss my neck. Oh, we've been hurting, but it's happy hour. Oh, we're horny. Sometimes I say the day of just to turn you. Beyonce and Jay-Z, they be f***ing. We already knew that, but they be f***ing. You should let me ride shotgun, shotgun, oh. Okay, I, I already feel the controversy coming up. Because this is the first song listening to it, I'm like, I have a feeling a lot of people like this song. <laughs> Which one's nastier? The sex that they be having or these notes? You tell me. Lifeguard? What the f is so aquatic that you need a lifeguard? 
Hey, Miss Honeybee, ah! it's Dolly P. You know that hussy with the good hair you sang Not about? Hussy. Reminded me of someone I knew back when. Except she has flaming locks of auburn hair. Bless her heart. <laughs> just a hair of a different color, but it hurts just the same. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. I, I need to, like. Ah! Oh, ah! Ah! Jolene, Jolene. More than beauty and seductive stairs to come between a fan. I would say these lyrics are not the same. So you don't want no heat with me, Jolene. Ooh! She said she's strapped. Jolene, don't f with us. Man, better than he knows himself. This is fire. This is crazy. Who the f is Becky with the good hair? Because you're getting whacked again. The Renaissance, like Jolene in the back. I hear you. I hear you. Woo! Still a pre old banjo bitch from Louisiana. Miko, do you hear this? Oh, why is your tail big? He's pissed off too. Are you okay, little guy? Is it because the pillows are on the ground? It's hard being a mother. Please depends on how you move, Jolene. Damn! Because when I think of Jolene, I think of it as Dolly just like acknowledging like she's another beautiful woman and she's great, this, that, whatever. But like, please stay away. This one is a little more like, like it sounds more personal. Like this was someone who tried to get, not to bring up old shit, but like, I'ma do it. This almost sounds like someone trying to get in between them who is close to them. I don't know, did we ever figure that out? I know there was like speculation of who Becky was. Did we ever like, Pinpoint it out, let me know. Let me know. I'm like, I got earbuds in. How do I inject it into my brain? That was an experience. Like, girl, you gotta give me a second. You gotta give me time. I can't keep going in and out like this, okay? Especially after all that. It's just crazy though because I went into that being like, I'm gonna know all the lyrics, I know what's going on. I can't wait to just hear her voice. And then I actually had to pay attention. Girl, <laughs> not you asking the most of me. Your body laid out on these filthy floors. Your blood stains on my custom. Who did we kill? Did we kill Jolene? But your arrogance disturbed my solitude. This is a sample from something. I'll rip your dress and your Oh! Did we really kill Jolene? Nothing like my father, but I'm the furthest thing from quiet boys and altars. Oh, is this saying that she is her father's daughter? That's a different language. And she sounds gorgeous. what the hell is going on in this song. <laughs> there is so much happening. The placement of this after Jolene is crazy. I can't help but think it somehow ties into that storyline. If I'm not mistaken, this project was actually made before Renaissance and was made like years ago. So it would kind of make sense for that conversation to kind of naturally keep going, you know, to still be healing and to still, you know, kind of find your footing within that story. So it's just very interesting to hear. But those notes, Okay, church choir. Like, did God come down and possess your body for you to do that? Oh, you can just do that. Oh, my bad, my bad. Double cross me, I'm just like my father. I actually really liked this song. It's very fascinating to me. Like, even just from a, um, like a human perspective. We're, we're gonna be circling back to that one. But we're gonna move on to one called Spaghetti. Beyonce talking about daddy issues, singing Italian, talking about spaghetti. Girl, she wants to be me so bad. Right. It's a shorter song. She's gonna punch. Genres are a funny little concept, aren't they? Yes, they are. Oh, we're getting back into this. Well, some may feel confined. That's why you see genres shifting into others. Reminds me of formation. But I got shooters and I bang, bang. At the snap of my fingers, I'm fine. Not Thanos! 
so I wonder with her saying that in the beginning, whoever that lady was, I'm assuming, is that Linda? I wonder if we're gonna see a shift in the project. All of this snitching and all of this bitching, just a fishing expedition, dumb admission in the kitchen, cooking up some chickens, extra leg, but I ain't. You see what I mean, rappers? Count your days. Count your fing days. The opposition, I'm a power by the proposition. I've been played by the. Like, is this Beyonce or is this Kendrick? Holy shit. I ain't in no bang, but I got shooters and I bang, bang. Out to the moon. Oh. Out to the moon. I lost women. And then it's going back. Okay. So we're not. We're. What? <laughs> so we're not completely shifting away. What the hell just happened? Miss Spaghetti. I didn't comprehend a single thing. Like to be so talented and cocky enough to sit there and just shift genres and to bring in whatever you want at whatever time and it sound good is crazy. It's disrespectful. I don't know, starting to think Beyonce is a witch. I'm gonna start a rumor. Beyonce is a witch. That's the only way all of this is gonna make sense. But then that goes into alligator tears. So usually, you know, crocodile tears, well, yeah, it's usually crocodile tears, isn't the same? Alligator tears? They're the same thing. Who the f cares? I hear and see this in a movie. My mind immediately went to like people driving. It's a transitional scene. Love it. Alligator tears. You say stop the river from running. I build a dam or two. So acknowledging that someone has control over your body and your mind. I would not be surprised if a lot of this is coming from Lemonade. I can see this being written from a place of anger. Tears. Now it's gonna go into another like interlude part. You tuned into KNTRY Radio Texas, home of the real deal. Ah! Turns you on to some real good shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks, Willie. That's actually so funny and that's so true. Sometimes like you just need a little bit of exposure. So there might be a lot of people tuning into this and being like, I actually kind of f with country. Or at least I f with Beyonce's country. Where is Beyonce's country? Because I will move. I will be there. When all out just for fun, I am the man I know it. Okay, so you are aware you're Beyonce. That's good to know. I was getting a little concerned. Time moves quickly and so do I, so do I, so I'll see. Oh, that low register. Mm. The instrumentation of this project has been really pretty so far. Feels like there's been the best parts of country and then like melts it in with the best parts of Beyonce with the harmonies, the arrangements. It's very interesting. I'm going down south. Oh, this is really fun. I am the man I know. Interesting is the same lyric, different connotation. I'll fall fast asleep tonight and I'll just need to get cool Ooh, been there, girl. Been there. Mm, and then that goes into the woman by me! But yeah, no, it just feels like a lot of this project has just been like a celebration of life and herself, but also realizing like, it's okay to take that time and heal. Like the line in the last song being like, um, or I just gotta get used to it, makes me think that there's a lot of different connotations that that can go towards. It can be towards the speculation on her marriage. It could be the marriage itself. It could be her fame. It could be the way people move around her. I think with her being such a prominent figure in pop culture, like it's really easy to think that way and to be like, well, who am I? What am I at the end of the day? And, you know, it was a nice start with her, her family, her children, but there is more to her than like being a mother, being an artist. So it's really fun, like as you get deeper into the album, you get to the more personal stuff. I'm just really trying to digest like the whole story. I'm, I'm honestly having fun. I mean, I can see Miley on a country song with her too. 
Miley also is a chameleon, but I want more rock from her so bad. No jump in the gun, bubble bones. Oh, she's starting it. Okay. What I want till I saw your face. Holy shit, this is happening. Bone it in. I don't know what you're doing. This harmony is crazy. I'll be a shotgun right up till the day I die. Driving you crazy anytime you like. Making waves in the wind with my empty head. Oh, come on, imagery like this out the window. Pedal so heavy like the two most wanted in the I don't know what you're doing tonight. Smoke out the window fly. This is crazy. I'm like trying to comprehend what I'm listening to right now. Like if you sold nine-year-old me that Hannah Montana would have a collaboration with Beyonce, I probably would have passed out. I probably would have died. Till the day This is so crazy. <laughs> I just... I feel like having, oh, we're already at the Post Malone one. Holy shit, now we're just flying through these songs. I think Miley added something in the chorus that if she wasn't there would have been lacking. Don't get me wrong, Beyonce can add like backing vocals and harmonies and this, that, whatever. But there's something so almost like sexy about Miley's tone that I think a lot of people can't imitate or a lot of people don't realize or give her credit for. So I think having her on that kind of a song just really elevated it to a new level. I'm expecting that to be super, yeah, it's like it's gonna have a little, little spice to it. Boy, I let you be my lead so you can hug that ass all day long. We're horny again! I'm a fucking animal. She's sexy. I'm a fucking cinephone. Yeah. You need to meet my mama. Oh, I like this little flow. Be my Nick and night. Nick and night, George Lopez. This sounds like Delete Malone. And now I'm alone. I could go on. Oh, he was perfect for this song. Bone and bring this shit on. Cause I'm going no style. Girl, I wanna take it home. They sound so good together. I would have never put them together though. Sexy little thing. Do you see what I mean though? That she's a chameleon? You put anyone on a song with her and she's gonna sound good. Like with them, because she's gonna sound good regardless, but. You are alone. You're my renaissance. They said the thing! They said the thing! I hate saying that I liked this song more once I heard post. That's crazy. Is it gonna flow? My mind has been telling me to settle. Post, you did the damn thing, and I hope you know. Flamenco? The harmonies? You f***ing whore. Respectfully, respectfully, girl. Don't you know that once I loved you? Oh, this is short. I want you to love, so hold me closer. <laughs> okay, thank you so very much. Ladies. <gasps> Linda's back. Stretches across a range of genres. Okay, so we're gonna have an experimental track, okay. Hello, girls. Hello, Oh my God, we're like Charlie's Angels. Cause I'm a clever girl. We snap it. To the Beyonce Cowboy Carter Act Two. Woo! In a rodeo chilling circuit. Wait, wait, so this is Act Two of Act Two? We clapping. I'm like a circus monkey. Beyonce tells me to do something, I'ma do it. Whole lot of red down south. I see you. The f 
fucking nerve. We shaking. I'm like a circus monkey. Beyonce tells me to do something, I'ma do it. This song is insane. This song, oh my god. When they say we're going across genres, they weren't joking. I just wanna shake my ass. This persona is cutsy. Vote! Y'all better be voting in November! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for speaking over that. This flow. Respectfully! Okay, yeah, yeah. Open Pandora's box on this album. We were chilling, we were relaxing, we had a cold beer on the porch with someone playing the guitar. And they're asking, y'all know Wonderwall? And now I'm shaking ass. Now I'm overwhelmed if I'm being completely honest. Okay. What is this all about? Now what in the hell is going on right now? Bounce on that shit, dang. What? Bounce on that shit, What? the river with you That's what I've gathered. She's literally insane. Someone brought me back to life, but never to my senses. Bounce. Ooh, ooh, that's a bar. Bounce on the shit, no. This second part of the project, just knowing that this was supposed to be released first is kind of crazy. Cause it is making me think of how I can transition into Renaissance. I plan to steal your heart again on Saturday and Sunday night. Why is this kind of cute? Like it's sexy, it's fun, but it's kind of cute. Bounce on the shit, dang, dance. Bounce on the shit, dang, dance. Bounce on the shit, no hands. Oh, I feel like I need a. This one's fun. It's just so crazy because it's like fun in a different way than what we're used to or what I'm even used to personally. Bounce on the shit, no hands. I'm just over it. <laughs> I'm dying. Where's that ambulance? She gotta come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. and diamonds both shine in the light. Yeah, the the tone shift even in this part. Of the, I mean, she said it like it's Act Two of Act Two. In the Arizona heat, summer flings all your That's me. That's me. Purple colored pink sugar. Right, like everything is changing. Like not only the shift in the um, instrumentation, but even just the subject matter. Lost virgins with broken wings that will regrow. That's crazy. That's a crazy line. Singing sweet songs to Las Vegas, singing I will carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. I love it. Cowboy Carter, time to strike a match and light up this juke joint. <laughs> like, I'm actually getting mad. <laughs> like, it's so good to the point where I'm pissed off. 
Thanks. All I was gonna say is I really feel like this is the closure that I never fully got from Lemonade. I'm not saying one that I deserve that or need that or whatever, but like all these songs I've been saying, like time passes and it heals everything. And I feel like there is such a closure to that chapter of her life present throughout this project. And it would make sense if this was what she worked on right after Lemonade because with Renaissance, we didn't really get songs like that. We didn't get topics like that. All these songs lately, for the most part, they all kind of like intertwine with one another, but these last couple songs have my ass in a knot. And when I say my ass, I mean my whole tyrant. And why is it in capital letters like that? Oh, they all are. Took me 25 songs to realize that. Unsubscribe now, please. Your hands are steady in your sleep at night. How did you turn your heart to stone? Ooh, Dolly's on this? Okay, Miss Dolly. Dolly just starts rapping, period. Being a five nine, pick and find what a tragedy. <laughs> That was Dolly. Girl, I need more Dolly. I'm just so... When I go back in the album and listen to this, I'm gonna vibe with it more. I think I'm so just all over the place with everything else I've heard. I can't fully bust my ass to this right now. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm emotionally tired. Giddy up, giddy up. Like, give me a second. A second is all I ask for. I like the title with the, the stars like that. That's really fun. Okay, pay attention. Get here when I still, still, still. All the shabby and painted it red. My people won't smoke on the marble. Cut it out for it, get out of here. Put some grits on the stove. Jiffy cornbread, booty cornbread. Booty cornbread. She said, This is homegrown, baby. can't keep letting her get away with this. We really can't. Like a mechanical bull is crazy. Pretty as hell, I'm not to rail, done it on bars. I just understand. That's why it's sweet honey bucking. AOT, why I ain't win? I ain't stunned by them. Say that shit on the chin. Come back and fuck up the pin. Yeah. Say the thing. Oh my god. Alma of the year, I ain't win. I ain't stunned about them. Take that shit on the chin. Come back and fuck up the pin. And like hearing this now, it's like, oh, that's about Renaissance. Knowing when this was written, it's about Lemonade. Lemonade not getting album of the year told me she's never getting album of the year because that was album of the year. Oh, cause Beyonce wins a lot of awards. Let's give it to someone else. Why don't you just give it to who deserves it? That's a concept. I think for her, it's one of those things of like, she's fine not having it, but it's more so the principle. But at this point, I don't want it to be like, oh, we're gonna give it to you now just to like shut people up. I have a feeling that's gonna happen soon and I don't like it. I really don't like it. But it gets stumped on when we book it, book it, book it, book it. It reminds me of bust it, bust it. Oh my God, I sound like that guy on TikTok. <laughs> like a mechanical bull. Okay, this is the last track. Okay, I'm really gonna listen to this and digest. <laughs> BRB. Oh my God, I feel so fortunate. This sounds so stupid to be alive at the same time as Beyonce, truly. That was an earlier song. That was the first song. There's nothing else, what are we transitioning to? Wow. 
sound like a spaceship. Like, where'd she go? <laughs> you know, it's like she flew away. And you know, like in TV shows and movies when they fly away and they disappear and it's like a little star? That's what just happened. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really sticking to it. I think this was Lemonade's closure and it was such a beautiful journey to go through. I feel like there was so much touched upon and I'm trying to just, as much as I can, go back to what her life was at that time and just kind of, you know, put the puzzle pieces together and it's just so beautiful. I, I think there's a part of me as a woman listening to her just go through these and accept who she is and what she can change and what she can't, what she can't accept. It, it's just like a very inspiring process considering the history of country and considering the history of these genres and how they have morphed throughout the years. Cause you look at like these country artists and you look at these awards and who's consistently winning, you do see a certain demographic. So for Beyonce to just kind of step in for a second and feel all that negativity, because this is not anything new. This is not something that's just happening to Beyonce. If you listen to any of the women in country, they will tell you the exact same thing. But just to hear it, to experience it, to feel it, I don't know. Again, do I think this is gonna be my favorite album? I don't know, cause country's like not necessarily my vibe. The way she presented it, the way she did it, I can see it growing. I think this is definitely gonna be an album I just gotta sit with. It was kind of the same thing with Renaissance. I wasn't really used to it. It wasn't usually my sound, but the more I listened to it, the more I digested it, the more I understood it. And I have a feeling it's gonna be the same here. So hopefully, cause we're going to that time of the video. Hopefully I don't f up my ranking for this album as much as I did last time. This is kind of what we're feeling, what we're thinking, what we're vibing with. I don't know, let me know how um, it's all sounding to you in the comments. But that is all for me for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I know we have Taylor coming up pretty soon. <sighs> I'm not emotionally ready for that either. But I love you lots. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.